from Hollywood, Florida at Hard Rock Live, it's Broadway Boxing. Our next bout of the evening, Bantam Waits. We're very anxious to see Jan Bartlemy and take a look first at his opponent, Kevin Hutchins. 5 and 11, two KOs, but he has been in with some hombres, Steve. Oh, he sure has. He's been in with Abner Maris, who, uh, whom he went the distance with. Maris is maybe the best Bantamweight prospect in, in the world. He's also been in with Raul Martinez, an undefeated prospect, and Nonito Donaire, who is now a world flyweight champion. Donaire took him out in one. Hudgens, though, 36 years old, took this fight on one week notice and has fought as low as 115 pounds. And you mentioned some of the guys, including Donaire. So, fighting at this weight, facing the slick, unbeaten Cuban, Jan Bart Tellemy. And Steve, why does slick always go with Cuban when you mention fighters? How could it not? And you know what also goes with Cuban? They have gold medal. Well, it does. And it works in this case, too. This guy has been there. And Jan Bart Tellemy, a gold medal winner. You know, we asked him about his favorite fighter from Cuba. He said, there's a cathedral of great fighters from Cuba. What a great well, line that was. Well, Bartholomew is 25 years old. When you watch him, you will not believe that he's only had two professional fights. And, uh... We're anxious to see him in action here on Broadway Boxing. Let's meet them both officially now as we go upstairs again to our ring announcer, Bob Alexander. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Hollywood, our next bout of the evening is brought to you by Seminole Warriors Boxing Promotions and DeBella Entertainment in association with Arena Box Promotions and the Seminole Tribe of Florida. This bout is scheduled for six rounds of boxing in the featherweight division. Your judges scoring this bout at ringside are Bill Ray, Alex Levin and Peter Tremetera. Your referee in charge of the action is Frank Santori Jr. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks with the silver trim. He weighed in at 118 and three quarter pounds. A veteran of 16 professional bouts out of Pensacola, Florida. Here is Kevin Bobo Hudgens. His opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black trunks with the red trim. He weighed in at 117 and a half pounds. A gold medal champion in the 2004 Olympic Games in Athens. As a pro, he is undefeated. Two wins, no losses. Originally from Nanjo, Cuba, now fighting out of Hamburg, Germany. Here is Jan Elberte Valera Bartelemy. Four rounds of boxing in the featherweight division. Look face this way. Face it. Do we go over everything in dress room? Remember, we got all the rules covered. Your belts were supposed to be keep your blows here and above. All right. Watch your heads. Questions? Questions? Good luck, guys. Bartolome, long way from Cuba to Hamburg, Germany. He defected along with a other fighter you see came along with him, Yuriakus Gamboa. The gold medalist defecting from Cuba, living in Hamburg, Germany, now fighting here in Florida. So a big one for him, just two and oh. Let's watch him work the Southpaw. Against Kevin Hutchins, the 36-year-old who we could say is in deep. Here comes the flurry. Bartolome, nice counter as Hutchins gets wild, tries to clinch. Bartolome's hand speed and accuracy, absolutely apparent. Stop. Well, that's it. Break. The Cuban Break. amateur stars, the Olympic gold medalists, like Bartolome. The hand speed is, is, is tremendous. And also, just watch, two pro fights. Watch how comfortable Bartolome appears to be in the ring. Well, it's just so many fights, too, and so much world-class experience. You know, when you have three, four hundred fights as these guys do, the foundation is just so deeply ingrained. And to find each 
fight after fight after fight. Not to say there's no adjustment with the pro style, but not every Cuban who's won gold medals has come out and become world champions. Well, you know, a lot of them, the reason they don't have full success, Joe and Pasadena are certainly an exception, but the reason a lot of them don't have success, it's not possibility. It's a whole change of lifestyle. They leave their home and they're given freedom, and they don't always handle that freedom because boxing is a game of discipline. Yeah, Joe on top is not as if he's fighting here on the floor, and he's a country of Germany. Pressure on the Hutchins trying to hang in there. Kevin Hutchins, 5 and 11, doesn't seem to be a threat. Much older guy. But you really want to see Bartolome, who's obviously a boxer, a lot of hand speed, guy who punches with good movement and angles. You want to see him sparkle tonight if he's got, a lot, if he's got the upside, because he is the guy with the upside in the ring. Right now he's a little too, much, a little too anxious. He gets hit with a nice counter from Hutchins. So Hutchins patient with that right hand and landed. And that made him rethink. Bartolome, you're right, Steve. He looks a little, a little, a little wild. Yeah, he's trying to impress. It's his American debut. And he's, he's really winding up on each shot. Should send his man into work. It's not the natural way for him to fight. He's trying too hard. Okay, two minutes into the fight, but I'm not absolutely dazzled. But again, I get the benefit of the two professional fights. This is for and a learning experience against the guy. Stop! Break! One. He's more experienced, obviously. Well, Bartolome's had only two fights. His countryman, Dan Ball, has had six. And they admit that Bartolome needs more work, and it's apparent right now, because he's, he's over-anxious in that. Hudson's with a good right hand. That was his uh, silent song in this fight. In this round, much of it the Cubans play. 